all in my fellow scouts welcome one and all to another Napoleon Total War 3 4v4 battle replay today at Spain 8-A map. Today's replay comes from Bruce Tuesday. His allies today are Hez, Danakel and General Hero of Vengeance H&R. Their opponents today are without a Trez, uh, TGG19TE Gosling, Roman numeral number, Operation Salt and Timothy Hurst the Ninth. Okay, now I'll go through the uh, factions as well. We have in front of us Austria, 1809. And we have one of their opponents, actually. We'll come back to him later. So we've got Austria, 1809. We have Saxony, or the Kingdom of Saxony. And over here... Uh, that's all the Kingdom of Saxony there. We have over here England. I think that's the United Kingdom Peninsula. Yep. We've got Russia here, 1805 to 1807. Alright, we've got France here. Uh, French Imperials. Over here we have France 1807-1814 Espanyana. We've got the United States over here, okay. James and Madison. And France 1809-1812. Okay, there's other players, there's other factions, there's other teams. Now, if, if you guys want to send me through other Total War replays like this one, or other Total War replays like 1212 AD, Rise of Mordor, Third Age Reforged, just naming a few, there are links here displayed in your screen. Which you can find in the video description below. They are my Discord ID, my email at scouts at gmail.com, and an invite link to join my Discord server at Scouts for Constance, where you can post your replays to the Battle Replay sub channel you will find there. Or well, the fourth option is to keep doing what you're doing and post to your respective Discords. So I do check out the Napoleon Total War Three Discord from time to time as well. And with that, we might do a small cut here, but before we do, we've got two four pointers on the field today. And five one pointers giving us a grand total of 13 points up for grabs. Red team's captured one of the four pointers already. Saxony lining up their forces here to take on the French. We got here some French artillery, a team of six pounders here, four of them. Not to mention another three, three eight pounders as well. Well, that firepower will definitely keep Saxony from crossing the bridge, which means a little bit of pressure now in Austria to come and clear this away. So Saxony can cross. Otherwise, Saxony will go, have to go all the way back down and cross here at the big wide bridge which Austria does control. Hey guys, we're back and it looks like Russia is having some sort of joke on his hands. He's got a little bit of symbolism formed <laughs> with multiple units, I would think. That's about one, two, three, four, five units there. He's like, oh, I don't need to fight. Let's make, re let's make formations in the, for the sky instead. We've got some Shivagurs over here, just watching them. Hopefully Russia moves out soon. I think his teammates really need his help, so then goes for England. England is making his way down the road. We've got some Austrian cavalry heading out into the middle of nowhere right now, especially no man's land. Not an ideal place, considering we know England, we know United States is out there, and France might have a lot of cav in the area. There is some artillery there, but he won't reach it in time. Francis Cavalry can come at him from every direction, almost. He's losing cab very, very fast. Come on, man, get him out of there. Alright, thankfully Russia there retreated. Now if you guys do enjoy my content and want to support my work, there are various funding options available. If you guys like to support the channel in other ways, then smashing the like button guys is that way to do it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and tick the bell for notifications so you stay up to date with all the latest content as it drops. And leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. So Russia saved about 80 of his men, unfortunately he lost 43. That's what happens, you gotta be on the ball. This game can be slow one minute, and very fast paced the next. Yeah, right now the blue team and the red team have just been trading artillery blows for some time actually. But the onus is on the blue team to move in. The red team controls the majority of the points as you can see by their little makeshift perimeter here. We've got pretty much eight points in their territory. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Now they just need to hold on to it. There you go, Russia has started us off. 
I'm trying to fire at some uh, Jean Louise Gross chasseurs. They can make their way towards the building though and capture it. Combat has been a bit slow today. I haven't really seen too much at all. This building has That's where all the Russian unit was shot earlier. He's lost almost 20, over 20 men. England's also here now as well. With a couple of units. We've got the manpower here to take that building. Just something about the artillery. So they're thinking about it. Back to the east, still yet to get underway. But we're actually going to kick us off into high gear, I reckon. Look at these guys. Bellini. We've got United States Cavalry coming in, some Kentucky Mountain Volunteers. Russia has the numbers here. Americans are sticking their necks out way too much. Russia's still not going for the building. there Phil, not too many. One Russian unit there. Okay, it looks like they broke the crew. Yeah, I don't know why Russia doesn't go for the building. Well, we got a lot of Sashin and Austrian cavalry that were facing off over here earlier. Now they've moved it around. The United States, though, looks like they're coming their way. South Sea is controlled by the blue team, it would seem. Now, Saxon needs to pay attention. Yep. He's trying to pull back. He's going to turn and fight. He's got elite cavalry coming in. He can't fight on more. Uh, most of the unit might escape. Session up to me now. Well, Austria still has their cab the same place we saw earlier. Austria is going to be a bit uneasy. I mean, Saxony, he's really relying on Saxony to guard his rear. 
So Saxony can't fall here. If he does, Putin can attack Austria from every direction. Pretty much. Meanwhile, England and Russia have driven back here the French forces, but then leaving the building still to the French, to the blue team. I'm not sure I follow that. We've got some cavalry just wandering around here right now. Running for them. Okay, these are. I was wondering where these assassins were charging into Austria. Those massive cab charges on the line. It didn't really pay off for them. He's going to save most of his infantry. Well, most of his cavalry. Running, sir. We've got France moving up. Austria falling back. Austria will probably be forced to retreat behind the building for cover. Meanwhile, we've got one of the French units out there playing chicken with Russia and England. Don't know how long they'll keep that up. Okay, we're back. France was charging in, but his assailants broke before he could reach the line. I was going after Saxony artillery. Little four pounder there. Eh? The United States government is firing on Saxony for some time here with little effect. Okay, he's going to try again. Back up. Our men are running. This is idle, not in combat. The okay, NASA is fire. Have a look. Okay, cluster shot. There's a massive cat battle over here. See what I mean? It seems like quiet, nothing's happening one second, and all of a sudden, a little hell breaks loose the next.
got infantry trying to get into position. Grenadiers here. So this guy's really need to form up. Well, Saxony looking very strong here. Despite his infantry not firing a single shot. Okay, Turkey Warriors were here. Geez, they blend in well. Okay, England broke their cavalry. Oh, the United States will probably lose their general here. I don't think the general realizes. He's about to be surrounded and killed. Jersey the Green's here trying to save the general. We might get him back. France going in for a major calf charge on the Saxon line. With the Kirasaras. Didn't pay off for it. That's a size that she pursue and destroy the cursor as while I have the chance. Saxony and Grenadiers here charging at the Americans. It's not a fun American plan. It was looking pretty good there for the blue team a second ago. But that's Napoleon for you. Let your guy down for a single second. You could lose the battle. Okay, England broke off his pursuit pretty much. Russia though has been chasing France all the way around this map. He's also got some Cadnell in France's back lines. Trying to stop him from running. He almost got him. The vault of gears up, they're falling. Jeez, Russia's calves is hurting these guys. Infantry trying to get to safety. The Russian infantry coming over the hill here. Trying to get a nice beat here on all the French forces. French here trying to pull out. Cab moving in to try and stop them.
running for Bayonet Church again. He's looking over here. Like Russia will hunt down and destroy all the French forces before they even get close to their allies again. Yes, Saxony should be able to divert some reinforcements to attack the French here in the rear. Make Austria's life a little bit easier. But Austria, Austria is suffering a lot of casualties. Totally surrounded in fog. And under artillery assault. I'm not sure we'll be able to hold out for a little while. But he also needs reinforcements to win that fight. What about here? We've got some Austrians, some Ular and Karl, and Rosenberg. Fast cavalry, along with some England Dragoons. Britain should be able to make great use of them, but they're right out, they're just sitting around. Our men are running, sir. Okay, the France elite Curacao Rose charging in. There's a smoke screen for the French infantry. Sort of stack the house here. We got some Walter Gersey trying to go after the Austrian artillery, but it looks like the Austrians will save their artillery. Russia continues their pursuit of the French forces here. Saxony and Russia have the cab to shut them down. Playing games with them, I think, at this point. Yeah. Okay, now, now Saxony is charging in. This is some of their best cav. Oh man, Russ is going for a bayonet charge. Second bayonet charge on our hands. With one final unit here that's not getting away. No way they'll let him get away. Now, fortunately for this player, he's finished. Slaughter. 
left side is I think dragging his head a little bit. Saxony has numbers to move up and crush him. Our men are running for us. We're sending up these two units to make sure that these guys here don't fall back to their allies. They can't get into the pass. This wall here must prevent any unit from crossing. Even though it doesn't even look that high. Russia needs to move in, get a move on. Cut off the United States retreat. Up. Saxony is just sort of holding his ground here. Maybe he doesn't want to spook the United States into falling back to his ally. Meanwhile, we got the Russian cabinet to block their escape. Austria reinforced here by England. He's keeping the French at bay, at least for now. French general here, they could be shot. Going down to 79. Russia charging their cab after all. France took that building from Austria. American unit still alive here. Who's this? There's some French artillery in the area. Okay, good units moving up. We've got a French unit moving away this and both of Obviously they need to chase down at some point. You guys seem to be moving around France here. These Austrian units have broken. Austria has two other units here. Including the houses. He's looking to do a surprise attack here on the French Hussars. Austria probably should just destroy this building. We've got about 15 minutes for a winner to be decided. Cavalry has seen try to charge in. Didn't take out the crew. Just a bit high. Kill boss. Uh, 
Russians are always crazy. Charging into the field of fire. You see, the player mustn't have got his artillery would be lumbered in time or something. Because I'm moving away. Thirteen minutes to go. Prince is being overwhelmed at this point. Okay, looks like we've got some Hollanders charging into the house. We want to try to reclaim this house. Right, England has chased the French out. They're finished here. He's trying to mop up the rest. We've got France trying to retreat. We've got the Russian general here coming to kill the French artillery crew. There's certainly one way to do it. They just tied. That's why I'm moving so slow. Alright, without a Trez General just fell, wiped out by an Austrian cavalry strike. Jeez, I didn't even see the Austrians coming. Alright guys, we have 5 minutes and 48 seconds remaining. Looks like Russia's making a play here for the mansion. Finally. They dealt with the other forces, now they got to conquer this beast. Running, sir. So there's so many rifles in this building. Wait, wait, who's that here? We've got another French unit here hiding in the trees. Well, almost a hundred men in less than a minute. Italian, though, is trying to go in. Oh, this unit broke. This attack will not pan out well here for Russia. France did well to hold on to it. His unit broke. Okay, it looks like France managed to kill the Russian general. You got a general and general fight here. A small victory there for the blue team at the end. Final score though it still does stand I think at seven to four. Russia sent over another yacht. This unit probably reformed and came back.
But yeah, we're definitely done here. France will hold this building for sure. And that's it. So victory there for Bruce Tuesday and his alliance. General Hero of Vengeance gained 1292. Denikel 1254. Hez 676. Bruce Tuesday 1460. Data Trez 1153. TG 19 TE Gosling Roman numerals. I gotta look up the number, I swear. 811. Operation Salt 986. And Timothy's the 9th 354. Okay, top performances there were his Chevalier's on 269, his Grenadiers here at 194, his Larand Carl 136, and it's an infantry unit on that Hawk 133, Jaegers here 97, nice job there from Jaegers, almost 100. Houses did much better in this one, 79. And so I'll just scroll down and give you guys a chance to check out all the units and their casualties on Bruce's team anyway. On Bruce's unit. And that is that. So, thank you to Bruce Tuesday for posting this replay on the Napoleon Total War 3 Discord. There are links to this page on your screen, guys, if you want to send me through other Total War replays as well, which you'll find in the video description below. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Dismissed, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War battle.